Oh yeah, you guys have been waiting for this video. Uh, what's up you guys, how's it going? PJ here. Now, I want to say this first. I want to thank you guys for following me on Twitter because most of the people do follow me because they want to see my tweets regarding the pay-per-view and it's kind of fun to hang out, interact with me and I have fun as well. Um, people follow me for, you know, a couple of main reasons because I do tweet the links to the stream, you know, and uh, also despite the fact it's just it's fun to see my tweets and just talk to me because uh, I'm not like those other YouTubers or uh, people out there who make you follow and not even reply you back. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm that type of person. If you ask me a question, if I do think it's really important or it's something, you know, something that I've never actually answered, I will answer it to you. Like, if he asks me if I'm gay, you know, of course I'm not going to answer you because I'm not gay. I don't even know why I even brought that up, but that was kind of stupid. Anyways, let's get on with the uh, review. Let's talk about the No Way Out pay-per-view. Definitely, I want to say this right off the bat. It was better than the last month pay-per-view, which was Over the Limit. Um, because, quite frankly, I don't even remember a thing from Over the Limit except uh, Big Show turning heel. And um, usually don't compare pay-per-views like WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, and Rumble because those are the A pay-per-views. And all these Fatal 4-Way Vengeance, Money in the Bank, Over the Limit, and it goes on. The list, it goes on. Um, these are all like the B pay-per-views, which is why one of the reasons why you saw Triple H at the pay-per-view. I mean, if you think about it for a second, uh, last night was an NBA game, if I'm not mistaken, one of the finals. Uh, I don't watch a lot of basketball, so correct me if I'm mistaken. Anyways, um, Triple H, he came out. I mean, he could have cut that same promo um, on Raw, but the reason why he didn't do it is just, you know, to draw a number of pay-per-view buys, uh, you know, because they already know the rating or uh, the buy rate is going to be a low, lower than what it usually is. And plus they have Vince McMahon on the card, and Vince did a really good rating for Raw uh, this past Monday night. And the thing is, now... I don't know if Vince is going to be in, involved in the storyline more and more because if you think about it for a second, how much is it going to disappoint you after what I'm going to tell you guys is that John Laurinaitis is not, I don't know, I mean you will still see John Laurinaitis even though he's fired because he's booked for upcoming shows and from what I just recently heard that Vince is going to be in the corner of Triple H while uh, he faces Brock Lesnar and John Laurinaitis will be on the corner of Brock you know so that kinda looks like a really good um, like a pay-per-view uh, match and plus you know you guys see Vince McMahon who is like the you know the chairman of the board he's not only the chairman I mean you guys have seen Vince on, um, you know, TV plenty of times, especially during the Attitude Era. He played one of the main heel roles, you know. And plus you see today's generation, uh, guy who is an asshole as a manager. So you guys are looking at a really good match, plus like the egos on the corners, you know. So I think that would be a pretty good match. Okay, well, that's about it for, you know, Vince, Triple H, and all that crap. Let's talk about the uh, match that everybody's been talking about last night. Um, and w what kind of made me laugh when I saw the pro Did anybody see the promo of the WWE Championship match? I was laughing. I tweeted saying, what has the WWE title match has become in today's era? We are looking at the promo, and AJ is in the promo more than anybody else not they don't even show the picture of the title they don't even show these three guys I'm like CM Punk is a champion and I don't even see CM Punk in this promo a whole lot it's just or whatever you know I see AJ 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 um, the promo ends with AJ matter of fact I'm like what are you serious anyways I just wanna say this that uh, whatever AJ is doing I think she's a pretty good damn actor. I don't want to say actor, but, you know, as whatever she's doing in the ring, mentally, she is just amazing. Um, physically, she is amazing, too, if you know what I'm saying. Not being a pervert or anything, but everybody knows 
you know, they have a hard on for AJ. I send tweets out saying, you know, Kane is just he has this big red boner and AJ wants this big red cock or whatever. So it's just pretty pretty humorous stuff that you guys need to actually do need to follow me on Twitter because it's just fun to hang out. I don't have to mention this over and over again. But anyways, uh backstage when AJ was kissing everybody, um uh, uh, for a good luck kiss or whatever, uh, Kane actually kissed her back, like on the, you know, on the lips. And uh, at that moment right there, I really thought that Kane was going to end up winning for some odd reason, or I don't know. Um, and uh, at the end of the match, I mean, uh, Daniel Bryan was just like completely gone. Uh, I was wondering, I was like, where's Daniel Bryan? What the crap, man? We didn't even see him. And there comes AJ running just out of nowhere. I mean, what the hell was she doing? What the hell were they thinking about letting AJ run into just the ring randomly and Kane just knocking AJ down? And at the end of the match, you know, CM Punk re retained the title and Kane um, actually carried away AJ. And AJ just gave this sick, sadistic, you know, perverted smile or something like she wanted that to happen. I don't know. Anyways, it was pretty funny, pretty funny stuff to me. Um, and I think most of the people do enjoy this. Uh, it, it's just pretty cool to see AJ act like a really like a psycho girl, you know, as CM Punk mentions. But uh, okay, now let's talk about Dolph Ziggler. Oh my gosh, this kind of ticked me off. But uh, then again, it's a good thing. Um, the thing is, everybody wants Dolph to win the title just for the heck of it. Why not? Dude deserves it. He's an amazing wrestler. I wanted Dolph to win, but I really think. An upcoming pay-per-view. I didn't realize the upcoming pay-per-view was uh, Money in the Bank, which it is. Um, I really think that uh, they should hand over or they should uh, let Dolph win Money in the Bank and just let him cash it in any time in the future. I don't care what pay-per-view it is and let him be that champion. I think that would be a pretty amazing thing to do. Uh, or maybe on a pay-per-view, let him cause an, a, a huge upset. Uh, if I I don't remember what match was it. There was one match, a championship match. Uh, somebody won, um, like somebody else won the championship, and then at the end, Edge came out or something. Edge has done some tremendous job on you know upsetting people for Money in the Bank. Um, so yeah. Anyways, um, yeah that that need to happen. And now I want to talk about the tag team division. Um, on Raw, as you guys already know, nobody actually sees the tag team divisions uh, wrestle anymore. Uh, usually it's up on SmackDown, but seriously, you guys need to, if this is called a super show, you guys need to do something with the tag team divisions. Uh, last night on a pay-per-view, this wasn't even like booked. Uh, I mean, this was probably booked as, you know, backstage uh, in WWE. Um, but like they didn't like inform it to anybody, you know, that they're gonna have a match like this. So they they had like an elimination uh, tag team match, like a fatal four way tag team elimination match, and I thought the match was really good. Um, they need to do this. Uh, last night they actually looked like they had good tag teams, like you know they've been teaming up for a while. They didn't have this random. Uh, tag team squashed up together like uh, what's it called uh, like air boom uh, etc um, and also now we see uh, Kofi Kingston and uh, R-Truth um, having like a tag team thing going on but uh, anyways what I'm trying to say is this uh, they need to push the tag teams right now because this is like not going anywhere for years and years back in the day you guys used to see Dudley Boys, Hardy Boys there were so many boys. They <laughs> used to be too cool. Man, we don't get to see that anymore. So they need to do something with the tag team division. They did the right thing of putting that match last night. I enjoyed it. I think most of the people enjoyed it. And they need to do something on Raw as well. They do this on SmackDown, but they need to do this on Raw because there's more people watching Raw uh, more than, you know, SmackDown. So most of the people don't know that crap, you know, that there are tag teams out there who wrestle. And they need to get rid of those ugly ass titles. If you agree with me, post a comment. Yes, you do agree with me that my...
boner is bigger than yours. No, I'm just kidding. But the, uh, you know, the tag team titles looks retarded. They, I call them the penny titles because it looks really, you know, they look like big pennies. It's pretty retarded. But anyways, um, what else is left to talk about? Ryback? Do I want to talk about Ryback? I don't even know. There's Ryback is just, you know, sailing his boat. Feed me three. So are we going to see three people? against Ryback maybe we will pretty soon maybe we'll see him maybe tonight who knows it's possible I don't know uh, I don't know where his character is going a lot of people are saying that he's gonna be the next Goldberg who knows people are chanting Goldberg now these days um, well I guess that's pretty much it for this pay-per-view hopefully you guys enjoyed and yeah I am done Thanks for watching. Please give me a like on this video, post a comment before my niece and nephew comes into my ring and just start screaming. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye bye.